Todd Bowles had studied the Lions all offseason. This is not a game that was in week five or six where, you, you know, like it doesn't do any good in the offseason to study your opponent in, for week five and six because anything can happen. Lineups will be different. Lineups were different today, man. A lot, a lot of missing yeah. players, including one very important one in right tackle, Luke Gedeke. But this undermanned Bucks defense and undermanned Bucks team went up there. And I'm really happy for Todd Bowles because he put a lot of time into this game plan. And this is something he's been working on for quite some time. And the players executed it. We did see Zion McCollum's first interception, which I yep. called on the pregame did show. Did call. Credit, credit to you. <clears throat> and um, it just was coming. And, and, and I, I talked – I talked with Zion this off season. There, there was actually, if you go back and watch the receiver show on Netflix, yeah, one of those receivers yeah. was Amon Ross St. Brown. And there's clips in there where Chris Collinsworth is saying, yeah, you know, they're picking on Zion McCollum, Jamel Dean knocked out of the game. And boy, they're really going after 27. They didn't even say his name. They, they just said the backup. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, I, I sent that clip to Zion. And I said, time to flip the script. And he said, you know what? And he's been waiting for this week for a long time. Matt, he, he could have had three interceptions. He actually had two. Credit, credit to um, Amon Ross, Amon St. Ross Brown St. Brown from stripping one of those interceptions. Then he had another opportunity to close it out in the, uh, in, in the end of the game there. But, but what a tremendous defensive stop after defensive stop after defensive stop in the red zone. Tampa Bay's offense, they did enough to win this game. But this really goes on, on Todd Bowles and the Bucks' red zone defense for just coming up with answer after answer for Jared Goff, picking him off twice. Christian Izzian with the huge pick. There was yes. enough pressure where Goff was rattled in the pocket, and, and that, was, that was not the comfortable pocket that he had these last two games. Bucks, I don't think, had a sack today, but no. it was enough to rattle him and throw in a couple of interceptions. Just great team defense by the Buccaneers and Ty Bowles.